hello everyone welcome again and uh, in this video i'm gonna cover the next tutorial in the spec flow series so uh, for the data driven automation you have already seen the tables in spec flow and the scenario outlines and the parameterized parameterization is remain so we'll cover the parameterization and the how can you pass the data as a parameter from the test step to test definition so uh, you can read here parameter parameterization is used to pass data to step definition as a parameter the spec flow the parameter should be defined in the feature file with this double inverted comma let's have some example to set the parameter okay so uh, this is the example to set the parameter just need to the string in the uh, double quotes and you can get the data in the step definition like this the p0 and p1 form so uh, let's switch to the visual studio and check this thing practically so you have already seen this example for the outlines and this is for the tables and now let's see another example as a i'm gonna can you zoom this yeah now it will be more visible to you so in this example we'll see the next to pass the data as a parameter so i'm gonna copy the same scenario which we are following from the long and uh, the example of table of parameter param in the spec flow so now i'm going to remove this table and i'm going to pass the message from here the message will be hello so directly we can pass the parameter here so again the same step create a step definition for this line so copy it and going to paste it here so i'm gonna paste it before click on this definition okay okay so now check cross check the definitions like given user is on the input page <coughs> so yes user is on the input page we have write the code for this also and the phone get the hello so in the hello we get this definition we had copied this copy definition in the step file also and now we have a p0 value as a message so i'm going to pass uh, change the name uh, you can use it directly p0 also but i'm going to change it and going to pass the message to our input field so i'm going to copy this line from the old steps and going to pass the line here and going to pass this message here and then we'll click on the button show button so in the next definition we'll use a click to show button here we are going to comment it out okay. the last last uh, um, tutorial we have commented it and now user can see the message okay so now the test case is user is on the input the same test case in the every uh, in the every tutorial we are following so you, it will be easy to understand if you are not following you will just watch the previous videos so you will be understand to create the scenarios and the things i am going to on the on the old scenario just i am going to change the key uh, topic like uh, here we need to change the parameter so i just change the parameter over there we are not going to start it again and again again and again so now we have passed the parameter there then i now check the hello message or hello good one this message should be uh enter in the output so let's put some weight to observe the output okay i'm gonna just copy this hard code and data and after click on the button we'll put some weight Okay, there is some error okay it's so already test case is there just change the test case name scenario name so using param now build the project okay i found another one another test case here fill the form using param So let's open the browser let's maximize the browser forcefully and it click on the input form simple demo form and 
to navigate to the form and enter the hello code when their message and message is printed on here so when it will wait for the five second i think it's done done so in this way you can pass the parameter there so uh, we have already discussed the complete data driven automation in the spec flow so there are mainly three way or four way you can see the parameterization scenario outlines tables and the another way external file so you can read you can keep the to your data in the excel file or somewhere in the database uh, in the in the database and you can get the data and pass in the parameters so this is the story of the spec flow uh, data driven but if we talk about the spec flow plus plus like to uh, to get the data from the external resources we don't need to write the hard code c sharp code in the spec flow but if you talk about the spec flow plus plus the new version of spec flow the spec flow plus will provide the source tag at the right source tag which can read the data from your data x uh, from your um, external source <coughs> like from the CS csv file or excel file or xml file so uh, we'll see in the upcoming tutorials in that one series so this is the way you can pass the parameter and get the parameter in the upcoming next video we'll cover the scenario uh, scenario context so how can you pass the data between two steps like uh, from the one step to second step so thank you all so much keep tuning and 